The time now, 11.30 in the evening time on next Thursday night, April 10th, 2014. Thursday night, time now for what a magician BJ with the late night report. Thursday night, April 10th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation is 11 o'clock, 11.30 p.m. in North Massachusetts, 49 degrees high temperature. With the humidity is 61% wind speed, south about 12 gusts and an 18 miles per barometer. 34 to 8 inches, two about 36 degrees and visibly 10 miles. Wind chill about 44 degrees. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope and show a couple of nah, blob of rain showers in the east central portions of Quebec and north central portion of New Brunswick. Line of rain showers from eastern Quebec stretching out for western Quebec down for eastern Ontario down for central upstate New York down for north western Pennsylvania down for Ohio down for central Indiana and southern Ohio. Nine of rain shots in the eastern portion of Quebec stretching down for eastern Vermont and New New Hampshire. Snow sleet showers in around Quebec. Back. A blob of snow shots by North East Portions of Ontario here. Rain shots off the West Palm Beach in South Central Florida. And rain shots in East Central Portions of Colorado. Rain shots with some embedded thunderstorms in Central Nebraska. Rain shots in the South East Portions of South Dakota and for North East South Dakota and for North Dakota and for South East Portions of Saskatchewan and North East Portions of Montana here. Sleet and rain shots down for Manitoba, down for Central Saskatchewan, down for North Central Alberta, and rain, sleet, and snow shots in the east central portions of British Columbia. Rain and sleet shots. Right there on a power play. Third, three, two, oh, look at that. The giveaway, the Eagles, Thatcher, Denver, British the first one. Columbia. Scores on the rebound. Union wins 5-4. They head to their first finals. Cavino airs on a good morning. Good evening. 75 degrees with Chris Guys here. Manipulate the rules in the name of gamesmanship. A golfer like Brant Snedeker moves his ball. And a line of clouds off the practice. Line of rain shots off the Southern California coastline here. Selfie at the Masters. There is room for integrity in sports. Do you hear me, soccer players who fly? Let's take a look at our satellite loop and it shows 9 o'clock from Missouri and Illinois search time for the Great Lakes and then for New York City and up in Northern New England and up in East Ontario, Quebec and then for Newfoundland here. Number batch calls from Western Wisconsin and Iowa and then for Nebraska and for North Kansas and for Eastern Colorado search time for the Northern Rockies and for Northern Idaho and for Washington State and for the British Columbia, Albert, Saskatchewan and for Manitoba and then Western Portions of Ontario. And the line of calls from from California and Southern Nevada and for Arizona and for Western Portions of Mexico. Line of calls from Northern Louisiana and Danfus, Texas and then up to Northern Mexico. Tonight, Jimmy Kimmel Live at 11.35. Map situation in height. A station from from Oregon, then for Idaho, then for Wyoming, then for Colorado, and a call from from New Mexico, such as New Orleans, Texas, Oklahoma, and then for Arkansas, then for Southern Illinois, Indiana, and then Ohio. Down for Eastern Ontario and then Pink of up to Quebec and Warm Front down for Southeastern Quebec and then for Northern Maine. Cold Front from Alberta, stretch it out to Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Warm Front from down for Manitoba and Western Ontario. Cold Front up to Ontario. We got Front of Mine from North Central California and for Central California. Front of Mine from Western Central and Northern Mexico. And we got Low Pressure in Seminole, Oregon, Eastern Southeastern California. Western Texas, Northern Mexico, Eastern Oklahoma, and I personal Western portions of Iowa, up the Carolina coastline, Western Colorado, and Northern Idaho. We have a temperature of 48 degrees out temperature now in Boston at 63 in Washington, D.C., in Atlanta, Georgia, 73 in Miami, Florida, 70 in Brownsville, 77 in Dallas, Texas, 55 in Kansas City, 57 in Chicago, 52 in Minneapolis, 49 in Great Falls, 55 in Seattle, 58 in San Francisco, 59 in Los Angeles, 74 in Albuquerque, 56 in Denver, and 63 in Salt Lake City, Utah. Current conditions, man, region, we got 48 degrees out temperature now in Boston, it's 47 in Bedford, 49 in Beverly, 46 in Gloucester, 50 in Fitchburg, 45 in Westford, 46 in Surbridge, 44 in Webster, 48 in Milford, it's 48 in Norwood, 49 in Taunton, 47 in Bedford, 48 in Falmouth, 46 in Martha Vineyard and Cape Cape and Chatham, 45 in Nantucket and 45 out in Provincetown and 45 in Boston Harbor, 45 out in Westford, 
Fue Valverde en Bottom, 46 en Wesley Fue en TF Green, 45 en Smithfield, it is 47 en Garner, and in Jeffrey New Hampshire, 48 en Greenfield, Massachusetts, 46 en Amherst, 49 en Springfield, 50 en Pittsfield, 35 en North Adams, 56 en Albany, 57 en Bainton, 48 en Key New Hampshire, 47 en Jeffrey New Hampshire, 49 en Nashville, and Manchester New Hampshire, 48 en Concord New Hampshire, 50 en Portsmouth New Hampshire, 45 off the Southeast New Hampshire coastline, 49 en Hartford, 46 en Meriden, 48 en Waterbury, 51 in Denver, 53 out in New Haven, 49 in Bridgeport, 46 in Islip, 49 in Montauk, 49 in New York City. Yeah. Alrighty, let us take a look at our forecast discussion here in New England. There, forecast discussion around the country. Shout out to the Bell Board, departed to Ohio Valley, a friend extended in from the lower Great Lakes, step westward. So the southern nine planes will become fast station across the northeast mid Atlantic westward to the middle of Mississippi Valley by Saturday. Moisture will pull along the boundary, producing shots and thunderstorms over parts of the Noir, Mississippi, and Noir, middle Mississippi Valley, and Thursday and Friday morning. Rain will fall over parts of the lower Great Lakes, northeast by Friday morning, and on Friday the rain. Will move into the Middle Atlantic, south of New England, and then the parts of the South Appalachians and Main Wall. And never front over the Southern Canada will move southward into the Upper Great Lakes to the Northern Rockies by Saturday morning. The rain will begin to move into the Upper Midwest on Friday evening and moving into the Upper Mississippi Valley by Saturday morning while becoming moderate to heavy rain intensity. And snow will also develop over parts of the Northern Rockies and parts of the Northern Plains on Saturday morning, too. Elsewhere, scattered showers and thunderstorms will develop over the parts of the Eastern Texas and the Central Gulf Coast by Saturday morning. Here, and for Discussion in New England there. We have to start all over with somebody from Maryland from scratch and all that. Yeah, it is that. A week off and we'll move it across the region on Friday and Friday night and a wave of low pressure will likely be a period of showers and mainly to southeast New England Friday night and early Saturday. Dryland and unsubly mountain conditions are expected this weekend and especially Monday. A slow moving friend will bring a soaking rain sometime Tuesday and Wednesday. New term service cold front in the St. Lawrence Valley with radar showing showers cold close to that position satellite image just show patchy clouds over Vermont and the eastern New York with overcast west of Plattsburgh, Utica, and Binghamton. Evening sound nine out of all many showed a 40 knot jet turn on 925 millibars. The update makes small change of the timing on oncoming clouds and pops. But if I stays close to the existing set of valves, we should be seeing an increase in the middle level cloud in this overnight ahead of a bunch of cold front. Much of the night should be dry, but a few showers are possible after midnight across the interior of southern England and a rainfall on match will be. Grand line and a few shots that develop will be short living on a given location here in the matter we are so moving cold but sweeping across that southern new england friday and saturday is a weak cold front hangs up across the southern new england a few shots possible but along the front on friday a weak wave of low pressure along the front friday night will eliminate a narrow band of steady rain and front pushes offshore saturday morning as high pressure builds in the front of the west showers in still fall rain total total friday saturday up and uh, three, a quarter and a half an inch rain from inland Connecticut, stretch out in the northern and central Vermont, and for southeastern Massachusetts and southern West County, and on the Cape. And oh, but what the a quarter and a train from Cape Cod and Nantucket down to Coastal Connecticut, Western Connecticut, down to Southern Hampshire County, down to Worcester County, and Boston and Points North. And up to an inch train from sent up in Eastern New York, down to Western Central and Berkshire, and up to the North Worcester County, down to Southeastern New Hampshire. And we got. Of the Boston Marathon bombings Temperatures gonna be around 70 degrees for much of the region here. Horrific wounds suffered that day. But for 58 degrees to near 70 degrees on Friday, yeah? Became the basis of a new Since this morning we've been down in Australia trekking down. Volker. Looking at Australia. Do they look familiar? Yeah. They should. These five were crossing the finish line. The first bomb exploded. Captured from every angle, they became the accident on the of a horrific tropical cyclone Ida. Severe tropical cyclone Ida is now a five storm. Documentary was produced by the Boston Severe, and this is where severe tropical cyclone is near northeast of Cape Flattery in the Queensland of Australia. Here, who directed the film? Welcome. 
So this is a different... Severe tropical cyclone Ida is a Category 5. Poses a serious threat to communities along the far north Queensland coast. It's expected to move in general south south west direction and make landfall between Cape Melville, Cooktown, this evening or tonight as a Category 5 tropical cyclone with very just ejecting winds to 300 kilometers per hour. New new quarter than gales extending it out to 200 kilometers from the center. The stretch of winds with wind gusts excess of 125 kilometers per hour may develop between Cape Melville and Cooktown during this afternoon, extending south to Cape Tribulation, possibly to Port Douglas to Nantes. Gales are expected to develop between Cape Zimbabwe and Cape Tribulation during this afternoon before extending inland to the lower and Palmerville to Nantes. Gales may extend to the south to Cairns and Innisfail during the north, shall be overnight. Impossible to cut well noon Saturday. The cyclone inspector will weaken you know, over land overnight. However, it remains that possibly the Ida will be tracked southward close to the coast tonight, maintain cyclone intensity for longer than Saturday. Should it occur to strike winds gusts at 150 kilometers per hour, all possible at Port Douglas and Cairns during Saturday. Coastal residents between Cape Melville and Cape Tribulation shall include Cooktown, especially warned that a dangerous storm as a cyclone passes the coast later today. The sea is likely to rise steadily up to the level which will be significantly above the normal time with damage waves, strong currents, and flooded of low line areas extended some way inland. People in the area should be affected by this flooding should take measures to protect the property as much as possible and be prepared to follow instructions regarding evacuation in the year if advised to do so by the authorities. Coastal residents between Cape Tribulation and Dennis Vale, including carriages, should monitor the situation in case the cyclone takes a more similar track than expected. Very heavy rain which will lead to flash flooding expected to develop along parts of the peninsula and north tropical coast and tablelands during the after the process of the weekend. People between Cape Sibaf and Innisfail and adjacent inlets including Laura, Kalinga, Plumbervu, Mariba, and Chilagi should complete preparations quickly to prepare to shelter in safe place. Boats and outside property should be secured of uh, available, use it available daylight hours for cyclone preparedness and safety advice. Visit Queensland Disaster Management Services website for www.disaster.qld.gov.au. For emergency assistance, call the Queensland State Emergency Service SES at 132500 for assistance with storm damage, rising flood water, and fallen trees and building of roof damage. And people between Innisfail and Cudwell and Jason and Lanier should consider what they have today need to take the cyclone threat increases. Information available for you. Your local government for cyclone preparedness and safety actions. Visit Queensland's Disaster Management Service website at www.disaster.qld.gov.au. For emergency assistance, call the Queensland State Emergency Service SES on 132500 assistance with storm damage, rising flood water, fallen tides, and buildings roof damage. But she was so driven to get back, I'll tell you, that she ran so hard to re qualify for Boston that her leg actually. Broke. But stop forecasters 7 a.m. 49 degrees, a few showers at 2 p.m. 63 degrees with some showers. And future cast radar air. She, she, she physically recovered, you know, um, and just had to stop running for a long time. Mm -hmm. And what about the others? Have they decided what they're going to do? Well, you'll see in the film. Okay. Um, I think we, you know, don't get right now, we we'll clear skies here. Uh, they're all driven. And the clouds are going to roll in at about 2 a.m. Isolated showers. Northeast of Boston. And then isolated shots up to Vermont and New Hampshire. And some isolated shots around me. Uh, the Coastal Maine, and then 10 o'clock. Still cloudy, but then 2.30, the sh to shots and everything will be from Southern to New York, then Pennsylvania State, and then 4.43 can be on me in Connecticut, Western Central Massachusetts, and down for Southern New York. And then 6.49, the rain will get here by about 6.49 p.m. from Boston, and then from Northern Bristol, and Plymouth County, and Rhode Island, Southern Western County, and down for Connecticut. And 8.34, it's going to make stay in the rainfall, and it's going to be a rainy night attack. So, for the Norton Lens game against... But I think everybody has a natural... Hopkins the game will be fine, here. Or a siren or whatever. Okay, let's take a look at our hazard web outlook here. Day one today, then I... Low relative humidity is and strong gusty winds will be in an invalidated fire weather concern this afternoon. The greatest concern is North of Western Saint Route 95. Day 2 for 7, Friday for Wednesday, no has a way of respect to the town. Okay, let's take a look at our 7 day forecast goes like this. While you're sleeping over 9 hours at night, increase cost on the lower end 44 degrees, southward about 11 miles per gust, that's 23 miles per hour. Friday, chance of showers, mainly afternoon, most cost cost at night, near 68 degrees. West wind about 9 11 miles per hour, chance of perspiration, 30 percent. New perspiration miles per hour, less than 10 minutes possible. Friday night, showers likely mainly before 9 p.m., patchy valley gusts at 5 a.m. Our bar's cost got low in 42 degrees, light and variable wind, chance of perspiration, 6 percent. New perspiration between 10 and 4 and 8. 
it's possible. Saturday, touch your ball before 8 a.m. on Wales. Both sides got 962 degrees. No foot about 6 miles per coming on the line of variable. So, you know, puck has got with a lower than 41 degrees. South foot about 3 to 7 miles per Sunday, both sides got 964 degrees. Sign it up. Pot your ball after 2 a.m. on Wales. Both sides got down about lower than 48 degrees. Monday, Monday, put your ball before 7 a.m. on Wales. Put your ball down here 69 degrees. Monday, Monday, both sides got lower than 50 degrees. Tuesday, change the charts. Class guys are in here 61 degrees. Chance of perspective is 50%. So that, that shadows are claimed, cars were scattered below 30 degrees, chance of perspiration is 60%. Wednesday, shadows are claimed, most cars got down here, 51 degrees, chance of perspiration is 60%. Right. Wednesday, that park has got low 34 degrees, but Thursday, most of the cars down here, 49 degrees. Peter is what a phrase of the night! A cloudy night and tap, and a little mile, and a cloudy day and tap of the round. This is a big deal, but it's a big deal. Good night, with good positive attitude, I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. Good night! <laughs>